Oh! Oh! It started. Gone with the wind. It started with Gone with the wind, right? It was removed from HBO Max. Then it was put back on. With uh, a warning. Okay. Uh, the warning itself. We A lot of people came out on YouTube. We all said this is a slippery slope. People always said that's a, a fallacy. A stupid argument. Yet has been proven time and time again to be the case. Uh, and this was, the, this was the, uh, the warning. You're about to see one of the most enduringly popular films of all time. But Gone with the Wind was not universally praised. Is any film? The film has been repeatedly protested, dating back to the announcement of its production. From its prologue, the film paints the picture of the antebellum South as a romantic, idyllic setting. Uh, right, okay. But anyway, it continues on further and further, and it's just a trigger warning for triggered people. And then... Uh, that slippery slope slipped a little bit further. Sky began slapping warnings on loads of stuff. So a race warning. Uh, and just like triggering things about like people, how they're depicted. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay. Flash Gordon. Okay. Uh, Aladdin. Uh, and was a classic, The Jungle Book. Um, even Aliens. Aliens had a massive warning on it as well. Now, uh, it's been recently, uh, well, it was updated a few days anyway um, from its initial publishing date. Now, again, we always say this, we talk about slippery slopes, people say it's absolute nonsense. Again, time and time again, proven true. I mean, Aliens had a, a race warning on it. Okay, fine. Uh, Aladdin, Jungle Book. All these movies, right? There was even one for uh, Flash Gordon. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Because it's now gone a step further. So it's not just... Um, I've got to scroll down because it might copyright claim me. It's not just the new providers that are streaming it that are doing this reclassification nonsense, right? We are... Yeah... We're getting this. An official, absolutely official, Flash Gordon warning for potentially offensive Ming the Merciless. Now, this is actually directly from the British Board of Film Classification, um, which is incredible. Why, why are we doing this? Why? Do, are, the, <laughs> are the BBFC saying that anyone with remotely uh, Asian sounding names or Eastern sounding names, do, are they saying that they have to be ethnically Eastern, Asian? What are they saying here? I'm, uh, I'm confused. It's like saying that there's no white Africans. There is. South Africans, anyway, at the very least. Um, it's just nonsense, isn't it? What are we doing here? This this is people reading into it. This is people reading into it. Also, as well, I think what's, what's perhaps so fascinating about this Ming the Merciless one is it does remove um, hmm, known issues in terms of, uh, I don't know, Barbarianism and things like that. I mean, we are well, Genghis Khan, for God's sake. Mao. Are we trying to deny all of those things that happened? I'll tell you what, next. Next, ladies and gents. Anything that's in the 80s and depicts the Cold War, they're going to start putting trigger warnings on that because it depicts Soviet, you know, Russians and stuff like that negatively. Which you laugh and you joke about it and you, I put it out there as a bit of a, a fun spin on it. But it's likely to happen. You cannot give offence. You only take it. So anyway, this came out a few days ago, and I wasn't going to talk about it, but everyone, everyone's doing um, articles on it, and it's like people are just praising it, and I, I, I don't understand why. So more old movies. This is on the BBC. Garbage. Uh, more old movies 
could have warnings added about racism and stereotypes after UK film censors said Ming the Merciless in 1980's Flash Gordon was dubious if not outright offensive. So you are basically saying that uh, if, you know, if you wear that, that clothing uh, and you uh, have a name descended from a certain location or an homage to a location, you must absolutely inherently be uh, ethnically sort of that. Really? 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 That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so the BBFC added a warning about discriminatory stereotypes for the film's recent re-release. Uh, Ming was of East Asian appearance. Yeah. You can still be white and be of East Asian appearance. What are we doing? What is the world coming to? We talk about slippery slopes and people always shrug them off, but they're bloody real. Um... Yeah, so apparently Max von uh, Sydow, no, no good, no good, mate. Can't do that. Uh, next year, the BBFC will examine how to handle stereotypes in other films. The organisation gave Flash Gordon a 12A rating for its reissue, more strict than the A rating it was given on its original release, which is roughly equivalent to a PG today. BBFC Senior Policy Officer Matt Tyndall said that was because the outdated portrayal of Flash Gordon's nemesis as well as some violence and bad language. Right. Okay. But you're focusing in on Ming, aren't you? Aren't Yeah, you are. He said, Ming the Merciless is coded as an East Asian character due to his hair and makeup, but he's played by a white guy. Thus, the BBFC would like you to think that only East Asian ethnic um, East Asian ethnicities come from those areas or live in those areas. What are we doing? Oh my god. But he's played by a Swedish actor. He's played by Max von Sydow. Which I don't think is something that would happen if this were a modern production. Yeah, well, probably. Probably not now. Because the idiots are in charge of everything. Get me off this planet. Absolutely, get me off this planet. Uh, and it's something that we're also aware that viewers may find dubious, if not outright offensive. Yeah, if you're a tit. Grow up. The character of Ming, of course, comes from the Flash Gordon comic strips from the 1930s and the serials. And, let's just say, attitudes towards the acceptability of discriminatory racial stereotypes have moved on considerably since then. And rightly so, of course. Well, yeah, rightly so. But you are, by your own definition, claiming that a white person cannot be uh, of East Asian, East Asian sort of heritage, I guess. You know, what if you're there, like, you know, several, several removed? Because you may have indoctrinated into the culture, you might adopt the names, you might adopt the dress. Really? Next, you'll be saying that all the, um, all the Jamaicans that now live in the UK, they're not actually British anymore. You know, they can't be. It's racist now. You're, the standards that these people put across is utter nonsense. It's such garbage. Uh, anyway, so apparently it's not acceptable to modern audiences. Um, yeah, uh, speaking on a BBFC podcast, Mr. Tyndall further said, this is something that we have to bear in mind often when we see older films coming in for reclassification because we're all plebs. Uh, films that might contain discriminatory depictions or stereotypes that are not acceptable to modern audiences, including films where discrimination wasn't the work's intent, just a reflection of the period in which it was made. Um, okay, so is it just the fact that he's a white guy and he's called Ming and he's dressed like South, you know, uh, East Asian? Is that is that all it is? Because if it is, that's nonsense. Um, if it's that he's called Ming the Merciless and he's, you know, a tyrant that's basically... East Asian. Is that the issue? Because if that's the case, mate, you want to look at a history book? Uh, so anyway, this is an issue that we're currently planning to explore more through research next year, speaking to the public to check that they're happy with the way we're classifying such films and the way we classify issues of discrimination more generally. And I'll bet you, you will only be polling Londoners. London Metropolitan Bulbagus. Terrible idea. 
Um, anyway, hate this. Think this is super lame. I just think it, it's it's garbage. There's no reason for it. Look, if you are if you are genuinely offended by this, then God help you. God help you all. There's nothing offensive about this. Really? Anyway, whatever. Let me know your thoughts down below. Merry Christmas.